orange. It's a color that food can be. It's also a way that you can group snacks together. And it seems like as good a reason as any other. So we said, what the hell? Without orange, we would only have Raiji Biv. And that's no world I want to live in. It's time for the orange snack battle right now on You Tried It! You Tried That, the orange episode. I'm Nick Novak with my pals Chad Hancock. Howdy. Nick Geiger. Hello. And joining us for this special orange episode is Lance Gilstrap from the podcast Hungry Cat Daily, where they talk about an orange cat. Lance, how are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Is that why we did orange? Is it? That, That's that a absolutely why. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't see any other reason to do orange <laughs> snacks. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you. Yeah, you guys talk a lot about orange, orange things. You mm-hmm. have, uh, you have like an orange news segment. You have, uh, you talk all things orange on your podcast. So we figured. That's right. Because Garfield is orange. Because Garfield's yes. orange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> key fact about Garfield. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so I had this is not orange related, but I want to get mm-hmm. uh, Lance. I want to get your take on this, and guys, I want to get your take. I don't know if you heard about this, but um, Elon Musk is developing Tesla Bot. Have you guys read about <laughs> Tesla Bot? Uh, <laughs> no, nope. but uh, it sounds awful already. I already yes. hate it. It is a a robot that uses vehicle AI, right? So it's going to be an AI robot. Uh, and it is a, it's described as five foot eight, 125 pounds. And it looks a lot like slender man. And it is designed. <laughs> <laughs> it is designed to do boring tasks. <laughs> <laughs> like convince teenagers on the internet to kill themselves. All right. <laughs> Is that boring? Oh, that's what Slender Man does. Yeah, Slender Man. Slender Man. <laughs> that is the dullest thing I could think of. Yeah, I was like, that sounds pretty entertaining, actually. I might do that. <laughs> so clearly nothing could go wrong, mm-hmm. right? Because we never right. he never watched Terminator or any other any other movie where AI took over. Um Lance, what do you think about this? Is you do you have does this strike fear into you or do you feel excited that hey, there might be robots, you know, checking out my groceries or whatnot? I'm excited for how much this is going to fail. And I can't wait to see all the videos of this robot failing. <laughs> robots have done nothing but failed. There's right. no good robots oh, out there. I did just... Shots fired to robots. <laughs> I pulled up a picture of it, and it looks like a PlayStation 5 came to life. Like, it's just <laughs> solid white up to its, oh like, shoulders, God, and then is. black up uh, up top. It's really insane. Why is the head, like look like that the head like disappears <laughs> against the black backdrop that it's standing yeah. in front of it looks like a fucking headless horseman yeah it's gonna do random ta- boring tasks yeah i don't think they know you know that's i guess the kind of thing about um about like these robot movies and stuff where like the terminator where ai becomes mm-hmm. oh self-aware and takes over the world and things when every piece of technology we ever have constantly shuts down and like fails at some point so (laughs) we can't even get this fucking podcast to record without lag half the time how's this robot gonna do anything right uh how much you want to bet elon musk has fucked this robot (laughs) (laughs) it's the first test (laughs) it is a probably a boring task i'm guessing (laughs) fucking elon musk Hey Grimes, roll over. We're having a three second Tesla bot. <laughs> Beep pop boom. I made it its head black so it'd be harder to find where to stick my tiny dick. That's probably what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um that's just odd. I don't you know, it's so much money being spent on this stuff. I don't under like he seems like he just finds ways to waste money like slingshot him into space so he can spit Skittles in someone's mouth and then land. Oh, wait, that was, no, I'm sorry, that was Jeff Bezos. Is that what he did? It was Bezos. I can't keep track of all these assholes. Bezos okay. spit Skittles? He's like, was eating Skittles and spit them out of his mouth or something. They were floating around the cabin what? or something. I don't know. There was some weird story what? about it. Maybe I just <laughs> fantasized that. I no, don't I don't think that was part of the story. Oh, yeah. that was, uh, Tesla Bob and I were doing that with each other. He's <laughs> like, I like the orange ones. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we, we'll, get, we'll talk more about Tesla Bob as we go, but. 
Uh, Lance, you said you had a, a short story, uh, snack related. <laughs> yeah, it's it's less a story, more just uh, inf- it just it fits the theme because mm-hmm. uh, uh, my cat, uh, his name is Okla. He is an orange cat, mm. um, and he is a. Uh, when it comes to like us eating, he's very well behaved. We can have fish, his favorite food, and like on a plate right next to him, he'll never like really even be interested in it at all human food um but we recently realized that um he loves cheetos it is the only thing Hmm. that he will eat he Hmm. we were having cheetos and he jumped up on the table and shoved his face into the bowl and started snacking on cheetos and it is a a Hmm. great sound (laughs) great sound Uh, of cat eating cheetos uh (laughs) another orange snack exactly because he can't obviously pop like an entire one in his mouth at once right like kind of has right so we usually break it like now we kind of we don't eat cheetos a lot but now we've been buying them more because (laughs) you just just mainline in oakla some cheetos (laughs) so so we'll like you know uh, yeah break one in half and set it down so he can eat you know eat one and then he immediately is just like give me more Mm -hmm. hmm What's your vet have to say about that? I've not told the vet that we uh-huh. feed him Cheetos yet. <laughs> That's got to be one sloppy radioactive litter box. That's got to look <laughs> neon orange meteor. We don't give him that too many Cheetos. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> wow. So now is that the first... You said he likes fish and stuff, but that's kind of the first like like snack type food that you've given him. No, or? no, he likes fish as in it, cat like fish cat, cat food. food. Fish. Oh. He's oh. never been he's never been interested in any human food. Even if we oh, have we're eating fish, he, he won't even like bother sniffing it. He doesn't wow. care. Doesn't doesn't yeah. one like a, a nice filet mignon, bacon wrap filet, anything? Orange like ruffy? That? No. Ruffy. No. <laughs> Orange ruffy. <laughs> Chad, now you you famously have a dog that you care quite a bit about, right? <laughs> and take care of it. A dog that needs yeah. like regular upkeep and yes. it's a purebred dog. So do you... That makes me sound like such a piece of shit when yeah. you say that. <laughs> now, Chad, you've got a purebred dog. This little fancy pants over there. Like, okay, okay, look, he was a rescue, all right? Uh, well, Geiger and I, I know, would, do, would be in Lance's court here with letting our dog eat. Whatever yes. the fuck was on the ground, you know, that wouldn't kill him. So do yeah. you, are you strict about what goes into Napoleon's mouth? Well, it's not so much that we're strict with Napoleon. He's actually really, str- he's super fucking picky. Like he's the pickiest fucking dog of all time. Like you give him a treat, like a new type of dog treat that he's never had before. And he's, he thinks you're trying to poison him. Like he will, he will tentatively sniff it. He'll, like, set it on the ground. Maybe he'll leave it and, like, come back later. He doesn't like most dog food. Like, it was actually really hard for us to find some dog foods that he liked. Lately, I have been giving him more people food uh, just because, like, he's, I mean, actually, he's going to be 15 next week, so he's getting up there. And I had to, like, change his diet around a little bit. So I've been giving him, like, more ground meat and that kind of stuff. But Mm -hmm. I think I think it's making him even more picky now. Cause, cause, you know, cause now he's, if I don't put any ground meat in his bowl, then he just sits there and fucking stares at me for like 10 minutes. <laughs> wow. What a little, what a little dickhead. Yeah. 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 He's a real <laughs> ass. Oh, Geiger, Geiger, what do you feed Slenderbot? I Slenderbot. Um, I throw Skittles in his mouth. <laughs> I just looked it up. That's actually what happened with these up. Wait, he's, he's, <laughs> he's. Like they were in zero G and throwing yeah. skittles around. That was yeah, amazing. like they'll yeah. grab. You the know, article I found says Jeff Bezos says throwing skittles into passengers' mouth was a highlight of space flight. Yep. Wow. Is that a product placement? Like, is it a skittles <laughs> paid for part of the rocket? You know what else I like doing? Using TurboTax. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just up there, like typing away. Um, my dog. My dog will eat like. Like inanimate object. My, my dog will eat. Well, I guess all food is inanimate. Uh, I, my dog will eat like <laughs> tires. My dog will eat anything. We actually like. It's really convenient if we drop something in the floor. I just go Lambo, and he comes running in. She comes running in and just eats it. Like vegetable, obviously not chocolate. There's something that they shouldn't eat, but she'll eat anything. And if you pour like you pour a cup of food in her dish, it's gone in like 30 seconds. Wow. I've never seen a dog this food motivated. And then you have to watch your food. Like if I set a sandwich on the table within snout's reach it is gone if i turn my back so dog's a little bit of a shyster that way but at least she's not picky like uh, your dog 
my dog would praise Ozana if I put a treat down on the floor of any kind. It could be literally <laughs> rancid lettuce. And be like, thank you. <laughs> so speaking of eating dumb shit, I actually did did have like a, a little story that kind of relates to you a little bit, Lance. Okay. Which is, um, so Lance, your co-host for Hungry Cat Daily, Nick, a, mm-hmm. another Nick, uh, who's he's been on this podcast before. So just this week, he and I did this uh, one chip challenge thing. Have you heard? Of, do you, have you heard of this? No. What is it? So okay. So it's this. <laughs> it's this thing that that just came out. It's called the Pacwi Carolina Reaper One Chip Challenge. Oh. And okay. so you buy it. It's like six bucks on Amazon or something like that. And it comes. It's literally just one tortilla chip. You know, like a pretty large one that is made out of like Carolina Reaper and, and it's you're supposed to eat it all in like one bite and then see Mm-mm. like how long you can go. And so Nick and I and like five or six other people got on like a like a Zoom call or whatever. And we did we'd all did the one chip challenge together. So as listeners to this podcast know, I cannot take spicy food at all. Mm-hmm. Like I hate mm-hmm. even the slightest amount of spice in food. So this was like a really, really particularly stupid thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. And I had like a huge glass of milk right there, uh, which I chugged immediately afterwards. And I was still like, I was like crying. I was like having trouble breathing. And then uh, that lasted about like 10, 15 minutes. And then the next 24 hours, I felt the chip go through every (laughs) single inch of my intestines. Oh my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) couldn't breathe for 15 minutes well i just like was like i was like ah, 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 you yeah. know like my mouth was on fire my lips were on fire so did you like it no it tasted like fucking <laughs> shit like even aside from the spice like it didn't even taste yeah but then um nick lance's co-host he took a bite or he ate the thing and he was sitting there and then about three minutes in he just dropped off the zoom call like no word just disappeared <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we were all like, what happened to Nick? Like, is he dead? Like, what? And then, like, about 20 minutes later, he popped into the chat and was like, I had to go lie down. <laughs> 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 and I talked to him the next day. He said it was the stupidest thing he's ever done in his life. <laughs> wow. It sounds very Ooh. stupid. I would never, ever, ever do that. <laughs> it just sounds awful. <laughs> it sounds when you get so to bad. the segment, guys. No, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> you should like get a group of people to do it. Say, let's let's jump on. But that in place of you is Tesla Bot, just like <laughs> sitting in the, <laughs> and he just mashes the chip against his uh, <laughs> metallic face. <laughs> Your chip tastes great, you pussies. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Tesla Bot convinces the children to kill themselves, is like death by one chip challenge. Dude, he makes them eat six chips. Uh, <laughs> oh. You should uh, you should do that and but like have like a tort like just like pretend to be opening it and like, oh look at this, and like sleight of hand pull out like a cool ranch Dorito. A sleight of hand. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the big problem is, guys. Yeah, that would yeah. everybody would buy that. Right. It right. Don't look anything alike. <laughs> Yeah, you never do one chip challenge with David Blaine. <laughs> Lance, do you like spicy food at all? No, I'm I'm not a I'm not a I, I'm not a spicy person. I don't like I don't like the I don't like the spicy stuff. Uh, I, I can yeah, I can go kind of spicy. You know, I, I live in Texas, so I kind of have to like put up right. with like it's it's a spicy state. So, uh, yeah, I can I can put up with like medium spicy. I was raised in Oklahoma, which is like the blandest food. Like there's yeah. no, nothing is spicy in Oklahoma. Uh-huh. And then uh, living in Texas, like the second half of my life, I, I experienced much spicier food. So I've gotten used to spicy, but I can't go. I can't do that. Like ghost pepper or any of any of that stuff. Right. If you had to reach for like a late night snack or you're on a road trip, you stop at a gas station, something like that. What's kind of a snack you reach for? Um, it, de- it really depends if it's like, uh, it's like, a, is it a sweet, like, am I having a sweet ear craving or a salty? Yeah. Give me one of each. I, okay. So, uh, for, you know, sometimes I like to get the all rye chips Gardettos. Oh bag. yeah. Those are great. Ooh. That's a good call. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Those yeah. are real good. Um, and then, uh, you know, I don't eat candy very often so mm-hmm. it's like a treat that i'll do on a road trip so for sweet stuff i kind of like to pick something that i haven't had before usually like a new flavor of m&ms or 
uh, uh, I was really into that right. uh, Reese's Pieces cup that had the little Reese's Pieces inside. Oh, mm-hmm. I like that a lot too. Yeah. 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 I liked even more than that. I liked they did the the nut rages bar, but they put Reese's Pieces in that. Oh, yeah. And I there had was that like one too. A three or four months where I was like buying that console. Yeah. I was just addicted to it. Yeah. It's good snack. Let's get into the snacking here. We're going to eat three snacks, rate them on a five point scale. I love debt, like debt, indifferent to debt dislike that and hate that let's we've been talking chips so let's start with the chip let's do the multi-chip challenge yeah i should say we picked we picked out three three orange snacks here and i just want to point out they're all orange in a different way you know one of them is orange flavored this one we're doing here is orange colored and then the other one has an orange packaging so (laughs) all orange (laughs) snacks i don't have this this original bag so someone this is the Good and gather sweet potato crinkle cut potato chips. I thought this was interesting because I don't normally eat sweet potato chips. You know, normally I just do, but I do like sweet potato. Good and gather is like the generic target brand. So yeah. these are readily available for anyone. If we decide they're great, you should all buy some. They do have a ton of variety of chip flavors too. Do you guys like sweet potatoes in general? Chad, I think you just said you did, right? I do not. I love sweet potatoes, but I don't know. They, a lot of times they don't work for like fries because they're mm-hmm. just not as crispy. I love sweet potatoes. I do like a sweet potato fry if it's salty enough. Yeah. But I used to love to get, like at a steakhouse, I get like a baked sweet potato. Yeah. With like cinnamon sugar and like that kind of stuff on it. I used to really, really love that. But I think as I've gotten older, I've been more towards like, I just have a regular baked potato instead. Like mm. These don't really have a super strong, they have less of a sweet potato flavor to me than like sweet potato fries do. Mm-hmm. Geiger, why don't you start us off? Hmm. Mr. Chip. Mr. Chip. You are Mr. Chip. I am. Lance, he's Mr. Chip. I'm Mr. All Chip, right. guys. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> From now, if you, it's hard for you to tell between Novak and I. Just call me Mr. Chip. <laughs> okay. And call Novak uh, Dipshit. Mr. Dipshit. Mr. Dipshit? Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Dipshit. <laughs> I, I went to five years of medical school. You'll call me Dr. Dipshit, sir. Um... <laughs> I like I like these. Um, I like sweet potatoes. I, these are not like Novak said, overly sweet. Sometimes, like I agree, the sweet potato fry I'm never sure about because of the saltiness, and also they tend to be just softer and mushier. I don't, I don't mind a few soft fries in like a batch, but I'd rather have them a little cr- like crispier. These chips are like crispy. They're not. They're, they're not like they're soft in a way a sweet potato is soft, but not like bad. Like it's pretty. They're still pretty crispy. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. Um, I like chips so much because I like the salty part. And I think these have a fair amount of salt, and like enough to make these good. I don't know if I'd ever eat like sweet potato chips regularly, but as like a shake up to like a regular chip, I think these are good. So a, a solid like that for me. All right. I like that to start. Lance, what do you think? Uh, well, I personally hate sweet potato chips. I've uh, had them a lot. I've, mm. you know, I've, I, I've eat, eaten a lot of those like alternative chips, like the beetroot chips and oh, all that, yeah. all that junk. Oh God. And, nope. and yeah, nope. uh, yeah, I don't like, I don't like any of them, but the sweet potatoes, the, the thing about it is it's good enough for me to keep eating them because they're salty. Right. Uh-huh. But other than that, they taste like a, like a, a, a stale chip. Like yeah. it just tastes like a stale chip, chip that has kind of like this, uh, sweet potato ghost that hangs out in your in your mouth afterwards and it's just yeah <laughs> not not so great but good enough to like you know good enough to reach for another one you know it's salty enough to to reach for another one um what's the uh, what's what's a two dislike that <laughs> okay dislike all right lance giving him a dislike chad what do you think i think i'm right in line with lance there uh, but i actually don't even want to reach for any more like uh, like this Here's the thing. I love a crinkle cut fry. It's my favorite kind of fry. Um, and But a, a fry needs to be crisp. Why am I saying fry? These are chips. <laughs> a chip. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere with this. but <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, yeah, to senility, I think is where I'm going with this. Um, a, chip, a chip needs to be really, really crisp. You know, I, I, I need that sort of like bite. These taste so stale to me. And I know they're not stale because I just opened the bag. That's just the sweet potato part of it. And it just highlights why this is like inferior to a regular chip. There's no reason to get this when the regular crinkle cut chip that's 10 times better is right next to it. Uh, these are a big disappointment for me. I'm going to give them a dislike that. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't like sweet potatoes. 
or the flavor of them. And these aren't strong, so I think they're okay. It is. It's the texture. I think part of it, too, is like this Good & Gather brand. Probably, like if I had the potato chip, I don't think it's given the best chip. Uh, yeah. I don't think the crunch is all that great. More like Bad & Gather, you might say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you might say that. It's definitely something I'd say. Um, <laughs> so I... These are one like though if they were at a party and there was nothing else there, I'd probably munch in them. For me, this is <laughs> you wouldn't leave the party. It's the only p- thing you at the went party. To it's a party that had party. one bowl of good and gather sweet potato right. chips as the only food. It's the only thing there. There's no guests. He opens the door and it's just wall to wall sweet potato chips. Right. <laughs> Put the sweet potato ghost in your mouth. Then I need some. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like a ghost. Right. Um, I would, or if I if I had gotten a Tesla bot. And it was just feeding me these chips. Mm-hmm. I would, I would not mm-hmm. say cease all functions. I would just let it keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give this an indifferent to that. They're just there. Uh, next, let's let's do the trail mix because I feel like the lightsabers are going to ruin the palette. So this is also good and gather back at it, and it's the Tex Mex. Trail mix. It says it has spicy peanuts, almonds, salsa corn sticks, sesame sticks, chili bits, and pepitas. Hmm. So these are probably spicy. They're not very spicy. They're Lance spicy. mentioned Gardettos, which I feel like is the as good of a snack mix as exists. It's very, very good. Um, can you guys think of any other? What's like a what's like a top? What would be in your top? Lance, let's see with you. What would you be in your top trail mix if you had had to uh, hand make it? Wow. Would you put in like chocolate in there? You just kind of like the breadsticks? See, sticks? yeah. If I'm making my own chocolate, I like a, you know, like a, I think they call it like gorp, you know, granola. Uh, oh, what's the what's the O? I don't know what the O, o orange. is. And then, Oranges. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's orange. <laughs> Raisin and peanut. Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah, I like a little I like a little sweet in there, sweet and salty together. That's that's really good in trail mix. Guy, what do you think? I don't eat trail mix a ton. I actually have had similar mixes to this quite a bit. Like when I would be hungry leaving work and getting on the train, they'd have like little cups of them. They weren't this brand. It was like just a little cup of it. And they, was, they, were, they were even spicier um, at like Walgreens. I don't buy them and eat them on the train home. So I actually like this blend pretty much. Like I love the, I usually in these kind of things, like some of like the corn crackers, the pepitas and under some of the bigger ones, the sesame sticks. Um, I also, I don't know if you're just talking about like snacking mixes, like homemade Chex Mix is also like pretty unbeatable. I love Chex Mix. Not the store, but the bag stuff is like bland. But like when someone makes it at home, it's good. Chad, I feel like you do have a trail mix. I do. So real quick, GORP stands for good old raisins and peanuts. Oh, Oh, weird. According to (laughs) the internet. You've been adding granola for no reason this whole time. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, we, there's a trail mix brand. Mm, I don't it's not good and gather, but there is there is a, a trail mix at Target that we have gotten many times. Uh, as we usually would get one like if we're going to go for hikes or like we're going to we take them like on a on, a, on vacation or something on a like trail that. Mm-hmm, on a trail. <laughs> uh, we mix it up on a trail. But that one has. So we have to be a little careful about the trail mixes that we pick because my wife has a nut allergy. So we stay oh. away from those ones. And I don't particularly care about nuts outside of peanuts anyways. But I think that one has uh, peanuts. It has peanut butter chips. It has uh, M and M's. It has like little pretzel things, and then maybe some like checks or something like that. Um, Sounds super Re- healthy. Reese's cups. It has Kit Kat. <laughs> full, full size Snickers. And chocolate cake. Fudge covered Oreos are in there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I I want I definitely I definitely want both sweet and salty stuff in the trail mix, you know. All right, Lance, why don't you start by rating this for us? Okay. Um, you know, it tastes like all the other trail mixes that I've had that are like this style, this Tex-Mex style of trail mix, mm-hmm. and which is good. Like, I like, you know, very salty. Everything's got an even coating of whatever that seasoning is. Uh, I'm really into that seasoning. Um, it, it the, it's, it's one big failing is the same thing that wrong with most trail mixes, which is too many peanuts, right? It's like over... It, there's too many peanuts in this bag. It says it has pepitas, and I've I haven't gotten to one yet. Mm. But um, 
Yeah, I like I like this combo. I'm um, uh, uh, I really like sesame sticks. That's what like my my favorite thing out of this bag. That's that's like one of my go to snacks. Um, so what is for? Like that. Like that. Yeah, we'll go All with right. that. Chad. <sighs> Lance said it's not spicy. I could tell this is too spicy for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> How did you eat a pocky chip if this is too spicy? Yeah, I, I well, that's what well, people told me that like after I ate that pocky chip, now I would be able to handle spicy food, you know, because because mm-hmm. everything seems mild compared to that. But no, come on, Lance is from Oklahoma and he can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm back to square one with this with this spice. It's too spicy for me. There's no actual like sweet stuff in there to kind of counterbalance the over saltiness. I think the Tex-Mex mix is probably just not for me. Uh, so I'm going to give it a dislike that. I think this is pretty good. I would never bring it on a hike. Like I don't want to eat something spicy on a hike. Like this would make my hike <laughs> oh, yeah. miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but just as a snack sitting around with the something to drink nearby, I like, this is like the amount of heat that is pleasant to me. Um, without going overboard it's like right at that point so and i think most of the i think it's a pretty good mix of stuff um lance has too many peanuts but i kind of peanuts are maybe one of my favorite things in there so uh i'm i'm in favor of those and also like he says not enough pepitas that's right on so i'm gonna say <laughs> i am gonna give it a like dat so two likes gaga where are you at um, yeah, I kind of gave it away a little bit when I said I eat this, this kind of stuff all the time. Um, I wish this was a little spicier, uh, to be honest. Mm. Um, but that's just me. I'm not, I mean, this, this is not hiking food for sure. I will say one of the, I don't mind the peanuts so much. And I think having as a, as a veteran of eating these types of things, one of the problems I do think like when you get ones with pepitas or like, uh, sesame seeds, they tend to like fall to the bottom of the bag cause they're tiny. So like you'll mm-hmm. eat the whole yeah. thing and then you'll get a whole like three mouthfuls of sesame seed at the end, which is kind of shitty. But it's like the Cracker Jack problem we had where right. every peanut was at the bottom of because it, it couldn't stay with the caramel corn. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the good thing is I have Slender Bot here to like dig through the bag and pick out the pepitas and feed them mm-hmm. to me. So mm-hmm. um, I can go in whatever order I want. That's his job now. It's a boring job. It's, it is a very menial task. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, this is a solid like that for me. These are good, uh, and I will happily eat the rest of this bag. Three likes. It is in the lead uh, with just a lifesavers to go. Chad, segment time. All right, so I'm a listener of Hungry Cat Daily, and you guys okay. do... Um, You're one of the four. One of the four. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys do a segment on there that's Orange News. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're going to do uh, an orange quiz... I have a little theme music here, and in this theme music, I want you to mentally replace the word uh, news with quiz. (laughs) (laughs) What's news, Orange? All right, great. So, (laughs) (laughs) pretend Lance just sang, I want some quiz, Orange. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so we got an orange quiz here. I got 10 questions. And uh, each of you guys going to get to answer all, all the questions, and then uh, we'll see how this goes, okay? Mm-hmm. okay? So, first up, this one's multiple choice. How many varieties of oranges are there in the world? Okay, mm. How many different varieties of orange? So here are your choices. A, 23. B, 246. C, over 600. D, over 900. E, 384. So, Lance, as the orange expert, we will start with you. E. That's a lot of choices to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> we went up to They're E. also not in sequence. You go from over 900 down to 300. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm, I, uh, I'm feeling that over 600. Over 600. All right. Novak, what do you think? That actually, that was exactly what I was going to say. I don't know why. It just sounded right. Geiger? Just to be contrary, I'll do the, uh, the 300 one. 384. All right. It was yeah. over 600. It was good. Mm. Uh all Good right. in- intuition there. All right. It's All a right. lot of oranges. Jeez. Which country grows about one third of the world's oranges? And here's how we're going to do this. Whoever is geographically closest to this top orange producing country wins. Oh, boy. <laughs> so you have to name a country. Novak, what do you think? Oh, boy. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. So I think it's going to be not what we think. Okay. 
I don't know what you think, so maybe. Right. <laughs> this is me stalling. Iceland. <laughs> I know that, like, you know, you, like it's easy because where we are, like, to think that somewhere in Central America or Latin America is going to grow a lot of oranges. Mm-hmm. But I think it's going to be um, just because of the size of it mm-hmm. and, like, diverse growing, I think it's going to be China. Mm. Okay. Mm. Gotta hear, what do you think? The United States. United States, Lance. Man, that was going to be mine, but I'm going to pick something else now. Mm-hmm. Um, Iceland's still on the table. <laughs> <laughs> no one I'm going to go with, I don't know, uh, Brazil. Holy shit. Is it Brazil? Lance nailed it. Whoa. It nice. is Brazil. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Got this orange ringer in here. Yeah. <laughs> that was a random, that was a <laughs> random guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well done. Well done. All right. Here we go. Number three. Oranges have a lot of fiber. How many cups of cornflakes would you need to eat to get the same amount of fiber as eating one orange? How many cups of cornflakes? How many cups of cornflakes? Cups, not bowls. Cups. Right. cups. How many cups? cups. cups. Eat them by the cup. <laughs> Ooh, I've been known to throw back a few cups of cornflakes in my day. <laughs> um, I did I did at a time I was trying to like figure out, you know, because I used to eat a lot of Reese's Puffs for breakfast. And mm-hmm. just like fill up the bowl. And I used to try to then one time I was like, I'm going to figure out what is an actual serving size, which is like three fourths of a cup. And it was mm-hmm. like the bottom layer of the bowl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've been eating like six <laughs> servings a day or something. Is it basically one of those little boxes that come in like the eight packs that you yeah, can like take? a single serve little? I think even those are like maybe more than one serving. Okay. I don't know. Um, I guess I will say uh, five cups. Five cups. All right, Lance, what do you think? I'm going higher. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say 12. Oh, Ooh, 12. shit. All right. I was going to go that high. Oh, I, I know. I just saw Lance's Brazilian wife pass by in the background. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go. I'm going to price this right, Geiger, and say six. Mm, all right. That's going to be enough for Novak. The answer is seven. Oh. oh. Seven. Novak, you tool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Moving on from the fruit orange to other oranges. Yeah. Here we go. What color is opposite of orange on a color wheel? Hint, it's not orange. It's the opposite <laughs> of orange <laughs> on a color wheel? Like, okay. is it just arbitrary with the order they put them in? Or I'm, so I'm supposed to know it's what It's not arbitrary. Color the oh, colors it's are... It's not so- arbitrary. <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to be... I think it's something like purple. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Back. yeah, because the the colors closest to it, like red and yellow, are going to be on the same side mm-hmm. as the wheel. Right. Mm-hmm. So he said purple. I'll say, let's see, Roy G. Biv. This <laughs> is here. Um, yeah, it does seem like it'll be purple, but I'll say blue. Mm-hmm. Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. <laughs> uh, Gorp. Roy G. Biv. Gorp. <laughs> Um, I think I'll oh, fucking indigo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is blue, so point four. Oh, um, wow. See, I thought yellow. I thought it was yellow and blue, and so that's why I was like going off a little more towards yeah. the red. Mm. Well, you fucked up. All right. I, so... I did. <laughs> you, the thing I was thinking is that I had no fucking idea. Right. <laughs> well, you thought the colors were arbitrarily placed. So. Yeah, just put them down on a wheel. Like, look, you got your blue, you got your black, you got your aquamarine. Black is sure as shit not on the color wheel. <laughs> it's our color. Or no, it's the absence of color, right? Yeah. Yeah. It depends. It depends on what you're, who you're talking to, because to a painter, it's yeah. all colors, because you mix all the colors right. to, to create mm-hmm. black. But to the sun, it's. So uh, you don't talk to painters. But technically, isn't white all color? A oh, white is the absence of color. Black is all the colors. Mm-hmm. To the sun, it's what? It's no. It's the absence of colors to oh, the sun. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And other space things. And we all bow to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> sure. There are orange God. All right. So uh, number five. How many total episodes are there of the TV show Orange is the New Black? Oh, my gosh. I've never seen black. this show. I watched you think, no one and a half seasons and stopped. You at least have an idea, because I don't even know if this show is. This is a newer show. And mm-hmm. like new, newer Netflix type shows. It's like mm-hmm. 10 years old, okay. right? Yeah, I mean, it's not from the 50s. <laughs> well, you know how like when we were younger and every season of every show had like 30 episodes of it. I see right. what you mean. And now 
popular shows, especially streaming shows, are capped at like 10 or 12 episodes. That's all they yeah. put into a season. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's a shorter season type of thing. And maybe they did uh, six seasons. So I'm going to say mm-hmm. 60. 60. All right, Geiger, what do you think? Uh, I think they did six or Lance seven. Lance making a face like he just took his guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think they did six or seven seasons, and I and I'm, I'm with Novak. These Netflix shows usually tend to run like ten to thirteen episodes, so I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with thirteen times six, uh, seventy eight. Seventy eight. All right, Lance, what do you think? Okay, so I'm going to take a similar approach and not say 60 because I was guessing five seasons and the Netflix formula is 12 episodes usually, Mm -hmm. Uh, although that was an early show, so they didn't necessarily have the formula yet. So I'll go with... No, no, it's a new show. It's a new show. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm going to say, let's see, let's guess it was six seasons ago, 72 Okay, okay. So it was seven seasons, actually. Oh, ah, okay. shit. I was going to go seven at first. I think it was 13 episodes a season because it's 91. Ooh, oh, wow. Seven. We were all so, low. Guy, but Geiger's closest, so he's I was going to say that. There. Shit. All right. So quick score check. Novak three, Lance two, Geiger one. Here we go. Halfway through. Number six. The TV show The O.C. took place in Orange County and ran for four seasons. At the end of season four... Who does Ryan end up with? Here are your choices. <laughs> oh, good. <Huh? laughs> I'll give you choices. A, Taylor. B, Summer. C, Marissa. D, Julie. E, nobody. The final shot is just him eating an orange in silence. <laughs> Geiger, I think you're up for this one. Marissa. <laughs> 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 it was the only name I remembered that you Have said. any of you guys seen a single episode of this show? No. Nary a second of this show. I watched the credits. You watched the credits? Oh. The credits. Credits. I've actually seen a lot of the episodes because my wife was really into it for a while. Oh, so you know this answer? Uh, I, I didn't know this answer off the top of my head. We I think we didn't watch the last season. Have you seen the credits of every episode or you just watched the credits one time? No, I just watched the credits <laughs> once. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I sat down every day. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> the dolly operator changed from last season. I thought maybe it like came on before a show you liked. You're always catching the credits. Mm-hmm. The actual the actual show's on. You're just covering your eyes until the credits start. <laughs> I can't see the actual content. I'm going to say... Wait, Taylor. hold on. So, Geiger, you said Marissa Lance. Who did you say? I didn't, but I'm going to pick Taylor. Oh, so am I. It sounds like an Orange County name. Classic, yeah, Taylor. classic move from Lance picking Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was Taylor. Actually, Geiger, you were close. Marissa was his girlfriend for okay. uh, three seasons, but they killed her mm. at the end of the third season because she Whoa. didn't want to be on the show anymore. Oh, Radical. don't blame her. Wow. Oh, shit. They kill her with a volleyball? <laughs> 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 no, she died in um, a car accident, actually. Oh, damn. Oh, she did the one so. chip challenge. She died in <laughs> Ryan's arms like he was holding her as she died. Elon Musk threw um, a Skittle into her mouth and she choked in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it Elon Musk now? I thought it was Jeff Bezos. Oh, yeah. I can't keep it straight. They're all a bunch of rich <laughs> assholes. He's all fucking assholes. Oh, who all gives a shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did Richard Branson. <laughs> yeah, Branson was the other one that went into space, not, not Musk. Rockefeller went into space and threw a skittle at someone. John Rockefeller. <laughs> John Rockefeller. He threw a, 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 a lima bean into someone's depression near a worker's mouth and killed him. <laughs> Take that, Marissa. <laughs> All right, number seven. One of the most iconic orange figures is the comedian Carrot Top, so named for his bright orange hair. What is the current Rotten Tomatoes critic rating of his 1998 blockbuster, Chairman of the Board? Note that while carrots are orange, tomatoes are red. So, Lance, what do you think for this one? Okay, Chairman of the Board. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Often picked on because of Norm MacDonald. Yep, one of the funniest clips of all time. One of the best interviews Mm -hmm. ever. Um, And... I'm gonna, I, man, it's it's gotta be low. I'm gonna go with six, six percent. All right, Novak, what do you think? Um, let's go nine percent. All right, Geiger, Lance, have you seen the movie or just the credits? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen either. 
Yeah. <laughs> Produced by Carrot Top. Directed by Carrot Top. <laughs> <laughs> Written by Carrot Top. Um, okay, six and nine. Hell yeah. <laughs> 69? All right, all right, all right. Uh, I will say four. Four. All right, who said nine? Me. Okay, it, it's 13%. What? Oh, so, I was no. going to say 12. Should have gone with my gut. Should have gone no with your gut. It's a 13 percenter. Chairman of the board. What does, what's the movie about? Your top. Surfer. Does he play the original chairman of the board, John Rockefeller? <laughs> yeah. it's, all, it's about his rise to wealth and power. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard-hitting doc of documentary about John Rockefeller. It, it's a prequel to There Will Be Blood. <laughs> 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 Caratop secures oil rights around the country. <laughs> I drink your milkshake. He pulls out a giant prop milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what uh, I googled chairman of the board plot. Surfer Edison, Carrot Top, isn't able to make ends meet with his inventions or his lifestyle. But then he meets billionaire Armand McMillian, Jack Warden, who takes a shine to the young bum. So much so that he leaves his invention company to him upon his death. Unfortunately, Armand's nephew Bradford, Larry Miller, only gets a surfboard. While Edison manages to run the company successfully with the help of pretty Natalie, Courtney Thorne Smith, pretty. Bradford conspires <laughs> to take him down. <laughs> yeah, like she's just, just pretty Natalie. <laughs> pretty Natalie's in the plot synopsis is so awful. Wow. Um, boy. Have you seen those pictures of Carrot Top where he's like super jacked? He's yeah. so jacked. You mean any picture of Carrot Top? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you guys looked up Carrot Top on Pornhub? He's so jacked. <laughs> <laughs> this man. Just really aroused. And let me tell you, the curtains match the drapes. Um, <laughs> is there a carpet match? Carpet matches the drapes. I fucked that up. <laughs> wow. no, some, sometimes people say curtains. <laughs> but I said curtains and drapes. Oh, curtains match the drapes. Means his hair matches the, <laughs> the other side of his hair. The curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, his hair is orange. Also, his hair is orange. <laughs> All right. Uh, number eight. The Space Jam 2 trailer is 171 seconds long. How many seconds into the trailer do the droogs from Clockwork Orange appear? The droogs from Clockwork Orange are in the trailer. Yes, I remember what? this. Is that serious? There are people from Clockwork Orange in this movie? They crammed every, yeah, every, uh, uh, was it Warner Brothers? Yeah. Um, every Warner Brothers, like, property they owned, they just threw into the movie. They're cheering on LeBron during the game. Who is this movie for? <laughs> right, to what end? These kids don't know who the fuck those people are. <laughs> They really don't know who the fuck Porky Pig is either, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, Novak, how many seconds before the droogs appear? In the trailer or the in movie? In the Space Jam 2 trailer. Porky okay. Pig just sitting there, like, his eyes all pinned back, <laughs> just staring at the movie. <laughs> okay, the I also, I looked up John Rockefeller, because I didn't know what he looked like. Mm -hmm. And if you Google John Rockefeller, there are a couple of normal pics, and then there's a photo of elderly John Rockefeller, and oh my god, it's frightening. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah. Holy oh, cow. Yeah. Yes, and that is exactly what Tesla Bot was designed after. Okay, oh, now real yeah. quick, let's all Google John Rockefeller nudes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Pornhub. He John looks like Rockefeller. a dried out apple. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Uh. God, he looks like the fucking Crypt Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> he was still alive. I mean, you know, he seems pretty old, I guess. <laughs> we know he's alive he's... in this picture. <laughs> well, yeah. He's pretty old <laughs> there. Old, right? I mean, what that's, <laughs> that's just what do you corpse. Want from him? <laughs> 88, it says. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. His money kept him alive. Yeah, he looks um, like shit for an 88-year-old. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> it doesn't look a day younger than 188. <laughs> he doesn't look a day younger than mummified, really. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Space Jam. Um, yeah, seconds into the trailer. It's 171 seconds long. Okay, then 100. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Geiger. Yeah, I doubt they're kicking off the trailer with that topical droogs reference. Uh, uh, I'll say in a world, and it's just a shot of the droogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I will say 90 seconds. 90 seconds. All right, Lance. I'm going to say they go earlier and go with 42. Mm, 42. So uh, my hint there was that they are cheering on the game, which is the climax of the movie. So if you think about the structure of a trailer, the part of the game <laughs> probably near the end. Right. Right. I should have picked up on that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should have. Uh, so Novak was the highest. None of you guys are really close. It's 143 wow. seconds in. Oh, you really got to wait for that yeah. treasure. <laughs> Yeah. 88 years in, uh, I think John D. Rockefeller's at the climax of his life. <laughs> right, right. You die. think he climaxed at 88? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, he's rich. You have to know his climax in 88, I'm sure. So, yeah. like, what do you, when your kids ask you who they are, who are those guys? Well, you know, it's a movie about a couple guys who rape a woman and then they, you know, get, <laughs> there's no, why are they in that? It's an X-rated movie. It's one of the few well-known yeah. X-rated movies. Yeah. Well, let me, let, that's a good chance for us to pivot to this origin story. Let me just pop Clockwork Orange into the DVD right <laughs> after. Show it to my six-year-old. A minute 40 in, there's two girls looking shit out of a cup. Like, oh, all right, look, um... So there are these really well-known characters in the WWE they're, universe. Two girls. They're cheering they on LeBron, go. though. So. <laughs> go, LeBron. No. Eating it out of the NBA championship trophy. <laughs> Larry O'Brien. <laughs> it's not the Stanley Cup. I'm not sure you can fill it shit. I know, There's no I know. It doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend LeBron's a hockey player. All right. So uh, this, ne- this next one has a little audio here. So here we go. Number nine. The Andean cock of the rock is the national bird of Peru and is known for its bright orange coat consisting of many orange feathers. I will play their bird call and award a point to whoever does the best imitation of it. Oh, no. So here's the bird call. Stop there. I think that's enough. You guys, you guys oh all got that. God. So who has to go? First? <laughs> <laughs> I think I forget who's up. Uh, Geiger. I think you're up. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> yep, yeah. that's it. I have to do an imitation. Yeah, and whoever does the best gets the point. <laughs> cheap, cheap, I cheap. I can play it again for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I think yeah, I gotta hear it again. Okay. 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 Wait. Here's my impression. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay committing it to memory hold on let me all right <clears throat> me 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 um okay <laughs> Uh, <laughs> scientists were re- able to recreate this bird's voice. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we, 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 uh. <laughs> That's right on. You stole mine, though. Oh, is that, yeah, is yeah. that what it was? All right. All right. Is that, there you go. Lance, you're up. Okay. Uh, man, my girlfriend's sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> she was sleeping. She'll love to wake up to this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was good. I had a bird just came in and yelled into the microphone. <laughs> wow. Novak, can you top that? Quick, 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 quick. What were those two sounds in the middle that were like, it sounded like something from that Metroid. Was the bird. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, all right, I gotta give this. I gotta give this one to Lance. Yeah, yeah was, he killed it. Thank nice you. work. Yeah, that's just an absolute A plus performance there. This score check, it's six to four to one. So Novak has it locked up, but we'll do this last question anyways. Yeah, and Geiger, if Geiger, if that mating call worked on your wife, oh god, would you perfect <laughs> it? Would you learn to perfect it? Yeah. No, I'd you'd be. I'd be hoarse all the time. You're like, what? Well, how'd you lose your voice? <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> but what if that's the noise you had to make? Where do you climax? Would you think? Would you think that would kill all of us too? Have to make. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, uh-oh, he's close. <laughs> I guess it's over. <laughs> all right, here we go. Last question, number ten. 
The questions in this orange quiz use the word orange many times. Some of them, such as this one, have the word orange in their question text more than once. How many times does the word orange <laughs> appear in the questions and answers of this quiz, including the instances of the word orange in this question? Lance? Uh, that's such a Chad question. Yeah, that's a Chad question. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see here. Mm-hmm. 27. 27. And and walk walk me through your thought process there. Uh, 10 questions, right? Yeah. I'm guessing seven instances of orange are the last question. Uh So twice more in the nine other questions. Okay. Okay. Novak, what do you think? Uh, 33. 33. All right. Geiger? Uh, It's not going to get you out of this. Not this time. (laughs) Uh, uh, 39. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, most of them only had the word one time in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did stack the deck there at the end, but the correct answer is 21. So, ah. uh, so Lance, Lance is the closest there. Okay. My uh, math was way off, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you had, you had the right, the right thought process there. There's a couple times I just threw in the word orange an extra time just to for this question mm. like hint the color wheel is not an orange stuff like right that. right <laughs> <laughs> all right let's eat the lifesavers and again Geiger just gave me a whole stack of these so i don't have what's the package say uh this is lifesavers mince orange and on the back it says orange you happy it's so refreshing so they look just like uh they're the white color of Sort of this that lightsaber, the mint, the regular mint lightsaber has become like the one you find everywhere. You barely find the regular lifesavers anymore. Right. So it's basically that mint one uh, where the outside is not glossy. It's kind of chalky, but it has a bunch of orange dots uh, around it. That's how you know they'll put the orange flavor in. Mm hmm. You can see the piece of orange. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got an orange flavor there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I actually thought it was also going to have a mint flavor. Yeah, because it says mints on the back. Because it says yep. mints, but it has no mint flavor. I don't know if that's good or bad. Is mint and orange a weird combo? Yeah, I would think yes. so. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll go first. These are kind of surprisingly good to me. Now, I like a creamsicle or dreamsicle, however you might uh, find it. And. This reminds me a little bit of that, like kind of the cream mixed with the orange. It's that sort of flavor. It's not like a, if I had an orange flavored lifesaver from a package, it doesn't really remind me of that at all. It has a much different taste. It's not minty, but it's kind of like a cooler taste. This is, I would eat this a thousand times over the regular lightsaber, lifesaver mints, Mm -hmm. winter green or whatever flavor it is. I think they're, they're surprisingly kind of good to me. I'm going to give it a like that to start. Um, so as a reminder, the trail mix had three likes and a dislike. So could get close here. Lance, what do you think of these? So I did bite down on my first one and chew it to see if I could get to some mint. And it never showed up. Hmm. Um, but honestly, it's a relief because I <laughs> was not looking forward to this because the idea of like a mint, an orange flavored mint sounded really wretched. Yeah. So... I do. I like it. I'm. I'm gonna go with a a, a, a like that. I almost want to le- like take off a point for false advertising, but yeah, I like it. Like that. Would you normally go for these kind of like these harder candies that you you know that you, you know, suck on for a while instead of? I like a hard candy because I don't eat a lot of like sweets very often. So this is like a you know a quick like I have a thing of lifesavers and I can grab a lifesaver and walk away and I've got like that kick of sweet for for a little while and last while. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Good self-control you have there. Whereas <laughs> I just want to <laughs> shovel the sweets in. Geiger? Yeah, they're fine. I, I agree. I was surprised there was no mint. But in retrospect, that probably would have just been a poor. Like, they wouldn't sell. Like, no one wants to eat a mint and an orange at the same time. That's gross. Um, I like mint. I don't mind the regular Lifesavers. I, they're fine. I don't. It's the orange flavor is not great. It's fine. It's definitely there. It's like the like, a you know, that candy orange flavor it's it's fine um hmm. 
Is it fine? I'm just going to be indifferent. I think they're okay. I don't think they're great. I'll eat them, but I mean, that's, it's me. So it's not really all that impressive. I'm like yeah. the human version of my own dog. So here's where we stand. <laughs> that's um, where your dog gets it from. <laughs> your dog used to be a fancy pants. And then she like <laughs> took one look at you and was like, oh, okay. <laughs> She's nudging me aside so she can drink out of the toilet. So the game is in Chad's hands here. It is, uh, if he gives it an indifferent, it's going to, we're going to have a tie. If he likes it, they're going to win. If he dislikes it, they're going to lose. Chad? Okay. Uh, And we saw you spit it out, but. Well, uh, yes, but part of that was because I didn't want to continue to to chew on it while I was like trying to talk. Yeah. But the other part of it is this, this kind of like hard candy is not my ideal form factor, I think, of. Of, of how I want to eat stuff. Uh, I don't like having, you know, like I don't usually go for lollipops that often, that kind of thing. I don't really chew gum. Like I kind of just want a famous hard candy. But, <laughs> 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 but you know what I mean? And um, the, something that Geiger said there really struck on me, which is that I, I actually don't really like this particular orange flavor that they have there. I think these would work a lot better if they were lemon. I think then that would be like a little bit more refreshing to me. And after I took it out of my mouth, like the, the leftover aftertaste is, is, is not really doing it for me, but they are my favorite thing that we've had today. I think if they were like gummy, I would like them a little more. So I am mm. just going to give them an indifferent to that. Uh, so we do end up with a tie uh, between the lifesavers and trail. Mix. I guess it, it looking at the, the individual scores, it comes down to, uh, Lance and Novak, because you guys both gave likes to both, so it's it's whichever one you prefer would be the winner. Are we allowed to change our score? <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's been done, yeah. You're yeah. going to lower these? Yeah, so I, I was thinking about this while you guys were talking about it, and realizing the flavor is exactly like the orange lifesaver, like the, you know, the actual orange lifesaver right. that you get. So what's the point of having it in mint form if there's no mint and what you gain is chalkiness which is not something Mm -hmm. i'm after so i'm i'm now indifferent about it because i'd much prefer the actual orange lifesaver wow good and gather on a late judge's decision um, (laughs) for the win (laughs) now these chalky one the chalky lifesavers are easier to bite into you can mm-hmm. actually bite through them not too long after you start eating them. Whereas a lifesaver, I feel like, will break into like sharp pieces. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, yes. So, that is a slight difference. But, uh, you know, I think a, a couple of these snacks anyone could like, nothing nothing blew us away today. So so the winner was the trail mix. Now, Lance, um, nearing the end here, why don't you tell us a little bit about your pod, Hungry Cat Daily, just for our listeners. Uh Tell us what it's about, where we, where people can find it. Okay, uh, yeah, it's called Hung- Hungry Cat Daily, and uh, it's where you know you get all all your kinds of podcasts. You you get this there. Uh, it, it's it's a, a me and my co host Nick Ramirez. Every day we read a, a strip, a Garfield strip. At first, we were going through all of them in order from the beginning, and then we got bored of that, so we've jumped forward to the eighties now. Um, but, uh, we, we describe them in, in detail. So that's, that's, and, and, and we, we really hate Garfield. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's actually a really fun show. I really like listening to it. And if, um, if our listeners are looking to jump in, I was a guest on there like a month or two back. Uh, Oh yeah. So, so go check out that episode. It was fun. Good place to start. Geiger, Geiger, why don't you run through our uh, social media? Where can people contact us? Yeah, if you have any thoughts about these snacks, um, if you have any, I don't know, like old portraits of J.P. Morgan and Andrew Carnegie tossing boiled potatoes into each other's mouth in space. <laughs> um, if you... Um, in space. It's, they, they, you can only do it in space. It doesn't make then sense. Then it was just empty context. space. It was just like an empty warehouse. <laughs> in, in an old cornfield. <laughs> um, if you'd also like to give us your rendition of that bird... Um, pretty sure we all nailed it, but you know, you can try mm, eh, two out of the three. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> the recording sounded right. Um, you can touch base with us at you tried at a gmail.com. We have a Twitter page, half pet, hashtag you tried dat. 
We uh, are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. We have a um, Facebook group. You tried that. Uh, let us know what you think. Suggest snacks for the podcast. Uh, let us know about your what you think of our ratings. Ask questions for our mailbag. Uh, if you enjoy the podcast, please tell your friends and family. And as always, uh, thanks for listening every week. All right. Real quick before we go, um, another point of the article here, just to wrap it up, mm-hmm. um, said that the a functioning version of the robot did not make an appearance at the announcement um, during Musk mm-hmm. reveal, though, <laughs> though a slightly bizarre dance by a performer dressed like Tesla bot did. Okay, mm. this is a good or bad what? marketing move? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Literally read that straight from the thing. So someone that was dressed like a Tesla bot danced. Yes, came out, did a dance. And I'm assuming did the robot. <laughs> <laughs> so where, wait, is he giving the speech in like an auditorium? Like, where was he? Yeah, it's like, you know, TED Talk type, like up on a stage. <sighs> So he's just like, I promise it works. It might look a little something like this. <laughs> Hello, my same time. He's like doing the Lindy Hop. <laughs> I think he did that before too, right? Like, didn't he do that? He's like, here's how we would build like a high speed, uh, like inner tube tunnel or whatever the fuck oh, it yeah, was. Oh yeah, it wasn't then... done in time. Wasn't it also something with the Tesla trucks or something? There was some vehicle he was going to build and then never did. Guy's full of a lot of great ideas and can't pull them yes, off. Yes, great. Here ideas. comes a dancer dressed like a, a truck. A truck. <laughs> <laughs> it can also do basic menial tasks. It's not for driving. It can like shuck pistachios for you. Right. The fuck it's here, here comes a da- dancer dressed like the Hyperloop. And just, like, <laughs> a hoop. The whole thing's a copy of when Henry Ford brought out a dancer of the Model T. Right. Just like, here it is. <laughs> and everybody was like, what is that? <laughs> What's that dancer dressed like? <laughs> but that, even that dates back to when Oog brought out a dancer dressed like fire. So if you yes. remember that. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. And since the dawn of time, yes. The, ori- yeah. the original tycoon, Oog. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. He had so many sticks. <laughs> so many sticks. <laughs> he had gathered all the finest rocks in the valley. Just throwing raw meat at people's mouths in outer space. <laughs> <laughs> he went to outer space. He built a rocket ship, but still only could bring raw meat with him. That's all he had. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to end it there. But uh, Lance, thanks for coming on. We really. I had a good time today. Thanks. For, oh, thanks, thanks for so much for having me. It was really fun. Yeah, thank you. All right, that'll do it for this time. We'll be back next time. We'll be trying out three brand new songs. This is- yep. Uh, okay, I'm thinking of something orange. Something orange. Orange. You give up? It's an orange. Get it? <laughs>